Hello, and welcome back to my channel, Farmer Ed Gaming. We are starting a new series now on the oaks. This map is by Farms in Briscoe, and there will be a link to his itch.io page to download this. Also, I was lucky enough to get early access to this map, and there is a complete auto drive course available for it as well. Again, the link is in the description. So, what are we going to do on this series? Now, I've got a bit of a backstory on my previous series of Riverside, so I thought we'll just do something a little bit different. We're just going to use New Farmer mode. But, I have made a few tweaks. Just going to do it as a bit of a let's play. Time to give me a chance to sort of play the game a little bit as well. So, let's have a look. In terms of settings, let's start down here. We will obviously have um, time scale up a little bit more. Probably put it onto one, maybe two times. And we'll adjust it as and when we need to. We're on hard economic difficulty. We have got traffic on. Seasonal growth, one day per month for now. And as you can see, pretty much the rest as standard. So that's good. Um, we have, as I say, we started in new farmer mode. So we have started with plot 91, farmland 3, 80, 81, 82, 83, 86, 87, 88, and 89. So, all these fields here with blue. Now we've got one, two, three fields of grass. I have also marked out the two grass meadows um, for cutting and grassing as well. At some point, we might plough them up and reseed them to get a better yield, but for now, there is grass in them ready to go. As for the rest of the fields, you may have noticed. I have used the mod start in spring. Again, links in the description. Uh, PC mod, I'm afraid, um, as it's a script, but you can see we are starting in March. So we have got some crops in, but they are all growing. Nothing is ready to go apart from the grass. So if you can't tell, that's where we're going to start. In terms of machinery, we are starting with most of the starting machinery that you get in new farmer mode. I have, however, removed the plow, cultivator, disc harrow, and power harrow because I am using precision farming on this, so won't really be using any of those. Um, I have also changed the mower setup instead of a single front mower. I have bought ourselves the rear and front with swather on it um, and I've also swapped out the fertilizer spreader one that can do lime as well. Otherwise everything else is still the same. Same tractors, harvester etc etc. Um, all of that has been done from the starting money. So we sold £157,542 worth of machinery. We bought £126,700 of machinery. I have placed, if I just quickly jump over here, I have placed this farm productions um, building by Omatana. Again, links in the description. We'll just have a quick look in there so that we can make hay, we can put TMR in, we can make other loads of other bits and pieces as well. That was £20,000, um, which was used out of the money we had. We have also gone and purchased all of the soil information for what we can. Okay, that 
cost us, if I have a look down here, that cost us £144,429. So, and we did take a loan out to do that. So that's one of the things we've got to get rid of fairly straight away. But there you go, you can see the machinery, new and sold, and then the construction costs. So that leaves us with £131,467 to go with. I think the first thing we'll do is get into some grass work. Now, I am going to jump over to our John Deere. We are going to use this bad boy as he's got a decent amount of horsepower. And um, we'll head down to the farm, the cow farm at the bottom. So that's the other thing, I suppose. Um, in terms of farm areas, we own this main farm area here, where we've got a load of machinery, we've also got our farmhouse. We own the oaks silo up here. Um, also, there is the meridian grain bins up here that we also own, um, cedars up here, um, and a fuel station. Um, and we've also got this cow barn down here. So we will head down to the bottom farm and um, we'll take it from there. So a little jump there just because I don't think you really need to see all of that right now. So just open those gates up over the railway. Now the train in this is not an active train so we'll just get away with leaving that open for now. These are the two grass meadows as I say that we have got mapped out with course play that we can use and we're going to run into the back of our farm right here. Here we go. Now we do not have any cows just yet, um, we shall need some money first, I mean I know we've got some money but we need to make sure we've got what we can to feed them first and that is going to take um, probably some money to deal with. So we shall just roll around here, we'll drop off our front weight just here. And we'll pick up our mowers. Now I think what we'll do, we will roll and put ourselves into field number 88 to start with. That's down here on the bottom of the map. Just if I bring up the mini map. You can see it's just over to the right. So we'll roll out of here. There is another meadow sort of just opposite that's a bit of like a flood plain, but um, we'll leave that and oh, maybe put some put productions or something on that late, at a later date. As it is, we'll roll around here. And we'll head to the field. So, really, really enjoying the look of this map. Haven't really played it much apart from creating the auto drive course on it. Um, now, we are going to duck down here because the entrance to the field is just up here on the left. There we go. Okay, so let's get these guys unfolded. While they're unfolding, we'll close the gate.
and we'll get ourselves into it. So what I think we'll do, do a couple of headlands. Um, we do have the swathing mode on this, which is good. Do a couple of headlands and then we'll crack into some up and downs, I think. Um, so I think I'm going to roll on and um, put you guys into a bit of a time lapse and um, see you when we're done. Okay, so there we go. You join us back as we're finishing this field. Now, some of the eagle-eyed of you may have noticed that um, I didn't go right up to the edge of the field. I didn't go right up. Um, I basically just kept it nice and square. Um, so yes, I was using GPS. Um, just easier. Um, as you can see from the mini-map down in the bottom corner, it's an extreme it's really good yield um, so it's not that much of an issue now we do have as I said before we do still have grass in 87 86 and two grass meadows to cut as well now we are going to need quite a lot um, if we have a look at our production uh, holds two million liters of grass so we are going to pick up as much as we can and if we need to we will put something down to store the rest uh, we have got um, several options in the um, build menu if we need to now re I think you don't need to see me go around and cut those four so I will do them and I will join you back once I've finished those um, and we shall decide what we're going to do next, how we're going to pick them up, how we're going to store them and all that. So I will see you as I'm finishing probably the last grass meadow. So, welcome back. You can see there that it, we have the two meadows mown now. Um, we have done the, the other two fields as well in real time on here. So that has taken us just literally just under an hour. Um, I think it's about 8.26 we finished the other field. So now we don't have a pressure washer at this farm so I think what we'll do is we'll just place one of those in here we do have one up at the other farm but 
Um, we don't want to have to keep trekking everything up and down to clean them. So, let's try and get this as close as we can. There we go. We'll give this all a bit of a, a wash down. And then, next thing that we're going to have to do is, I think what we'll do is we will lease a forage wagon if we can't afford one. Uh, we'll try and buy it if we can. Um, but we'll see what we can afford. So there is one that I am going to use, I think, uh, which is the one that I am using it on my Riverside series as well. Really like it. It's a it's a nice edit from Mr. Mark Thor in our community. Um, holds sort of just over sixty thousand, if not sixty thousand liters, um, with silage additive. So we do that, I think, and that will be a beautiful little addition to the farm. Now let's drop off this. I think what we will do is we will use one of the other tractors um, so that we get a bit of variety here. And um, we'll collect some grass. Let's just drop this guy off. And we'll just actually we'll just leave him just there. Right. I will see you. Actually, no, I won't. Let's buy this thing first. So we want a forage wagon. I go where is there it is, sixty thousand. Oh well we'll buy that then. Um, I do like to make the stuff my cris crimson red takes and takes it up a little bit in price. But you know what? I think we'll just we'll, for now we'll keep it. We can always um, we can always customize it at a later date. So we'll buy ourselves that. Um, we will also buy ourselves some silage additive. However, I think we will get that delivered to the farm because that will just make it a little bit easier in terms of not having to bring that pallet back. Um, and we'll pay the cost on that, only 76. So that's not too bad. Right, let's go jump into, I think we'll take the class for this job, I think. Um, and we'll see you up at the shop. Right. So I decided to just wait until we got back down to the field to bring you back in. Um, we have collected the oh, we have collected our spent um, what am I trying to say? Fent forage wagon. We also spoke to the dealership, and for an extra forty quid, we have paid for them to fill the silage additive before we left, save us having to go all the way back to the yard to do that. So I think we will just get straight in. We'll do one quick load of this. We'll get it put into our farm production. And then I think that will probably be where we leave it for today. So I will quickly 
whiz this onto another quick time lapse. And um, I'll see you back down at the yard very shortly. Right, so here we are, back at the yard. As I say, I think we'll just drop off this one load and we'll leave it there for today. So let's run this round. And there we go. Now again, between recording this and the next episode, I may collect like most of the grass apart from one field so that um, we can just start the next episode with a bit of a, a, f a bit of collection of grass. But um, as it stands, I think if that will be where we leave it for today. Um, I'd like to thank you all for coming along and watching this one again today. Um, if you could like, subscribe, and um, share it with your friends and tell your friends and get them to come along and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. So, from the Oaks, I'll see you again very soon. Cheerio. Mm -hmm.